Hi, you guys. My name is Jen, and I am so excited you are here. Thanks for being here. Uh, my name is Jen. I already said that. Can you tell us this is my first YouTube video ever, 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 ever. So if you would like to join myself and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. So today we're gonna to be talking about how I do my makeup for my face. So I am no spring chicken, friends. I have fine lines here, 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 and I break out a lot. I have hyperpigmentation, so I need to make my face look flawless in a very short amount of time. I have two kids and so I just need to boom, 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 get it done. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna hang out and do makeup together. So the very first thing I wanna talk about is primer. And I know a lot of people love to use primer before they put anything else on, but I actually like to wait until after I put on my foundation. But let me show you, it's this guy right here. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I have on my very trusty foundation, it's called Dura Blend, uh, to kind of blend and smooth here. Um, so I have the color Chestnut. And also I have this very nifty tool. This is what I like to use instead of a brush. I don't know if you have tried a brush versus a sponge. I've tried several sponges and the reason why I like this one is because of its density. It's not too thick. I've tried some that are too soft. It's almost like it takes the makeup off my face and I definitely don't want that. I need it on my face. And I also like that it has this slanted straight edge right here. So that's actually how I apply it. So let me show you without further ado. I am just going to take a few drops like so and put it directly on the flat side of the sponge. And I'm just going to start dabbing on my face. So depending on your skin type, I get really oily. And so sometimes I'll treat my skin with some lotion beforehand or I will treat it just in troubled troubled areas like where I've had acne and I'm starting to get some flaking and drying and yeah, that doesn't sound very pretty but my chin is recovering right here from a breakout that I had not too long ago so and when I need to I use this miracle cream right here uh, by Charlotte Tilbury and uh, I love it I've tried several different moisturizers this one is by far my favorite all right, but I am actually going to spot treat that, actually um, spot treat it before, or no, I'm gonna spot treat it after, there we go, a third time's a charm, I put on my foundation. So now I kind of did the side, you can see that I, I just did some blotting, some dabbing. I avoid going really heavy around my eyes, just where my fine lines are. And same thing, I avoid going heavy around my smile lines. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to my sponge. By the way, these sponges are only like $5 and they last a really long time. They can come in a package. Actually, I have it right here. I have a package of two. So you can bundle up and save. By the way, I am going to be linking all of the products that I'm using. So you can just scroll down and find all of the links for you to click and check out on your own for purchase. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I would love to know, by the way, if you comment below, what your current foundation is. And uh, I feel like some people love their foundation or they're not quite married to it and they are open to trying new ones. I, again, you guys, I have tried several and Derma Blend right now is my go-to. <laughs> All right, so once I am done just kind of dabbing all around, I am going to now grab my primer, that one that I first showed you. I'm gonna grab it for you right here. Ta-da! So it says minimize pores. And Mike, can I talk to you while you're here? Or sure. are you not? Okay, so Mike! <laughs> if you saw my videos on Instagram, then you saw that Mike is a very successful vlogger. Am I allowed to say that? Sure. Can I brag about you guys? <laughs> and um, he has an up and running vlog. He is letting me use all of his equipment because I am brand new, obviously, to YouTube 
kind of scary. My sweet spot, or like what I call home, is Instagram. And so I'm on Instagram. I have like around 140,000 followers. Hi, Miss Liz. Um, and, but here, I think I might have one if I'm lucky. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, all I have to say, it is the, the easiest way to get in touch with me is to just send me a DM, which is a direct message on Instagram. I'm going to add my handle so you can also just visit me there and say hello. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial, you can absolutely check it out then. Okay, so with this Minimizing Pore Primer, I put a couple of drops on my finger. Now what I'm going to do is, I know that we have stellar equipment here, but we're not going to be zooming in, which is actually a good thing, but I have a lot of pores right here from like acne scarring on my nose. And so after I have applied my foundation, I'm actually going to start dabbing and filling in those holes. <laughs> it's never nice to say I have holes on my face, but you know what? I'm thankful for things like the minimizing pore primer to fill those in for me. And I feel like it's velvety smooth and it just goes on pretty effortless, effortlessly. <laughs> uh, so once it's been applied, if needed, I can go back and touch up with my foundation, but I'm pretty happy with that. For the most part, I just wanna have light coverage that's going to make my skin tone look pretty even. And I don't even use a powder on top. You definitely can, but I'm not going to. Instead, I am going to do, 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 use a bronzer. So right now I have the Lancome. It's called Solaire. I am going to be dusting on a bit of bronzer on my brush. I'm gonna go over by my cheek. So I'm basically just warming up my complexion. I'm gonna go on my jawline and then up by my temples and over my eyebrows. And then I am going to kind of bring it down my neck to help blend it in a little bit more. All right, so moving on to blush right here. I have MAC and this is Gleeful. I've had it for years. And what I love about this color is that it works regardless of season. So I don't know about you girls, but my skin changes from winter to summer, and then I have to switch up my makeup, which is fun to do, but I also like having staples that I know are tried and true, and this color stays with me all year round. <laughs> all right, so I've got my IT Cosmetics blush right, blush brush, and I'm going to dab. I, I like to like dust off a little bit off my brush, and I'm going to go into little circular motions. I like smiling. Ta-da! Girls, I like smiling even when I'm not applying blush, right? Someone once told me that your smile is your best accessory. So I'm all for that. Smiling, it's contagious too. <laughs> okay. So a lot of times I feel like my blush goes on kind of strong. I'm not too worried about it because again, I have my little trusty blending sponge right here that I use for my foundation. And I'm just going to blot around and over here. All right. So, ta-da! Next, I love using this lip stick. And it is another Charlotte Tilbury product. I have on the, or not on yet, I will have on the Very Victoria. It's a very neutral color. And then I like applying on my Lip Glossy by Capari. I got this actually from the Reward Style Conference last year, and it was one of the goodies that they were giving away, and it took me like months to finally pull it out, and I don't know why it took me so long, because I love it. I use it a lot even when I don't have any lipstick on. So and now I am just going to put a little bit on my lips. And that is pretty much it, you guys. <laughs> that is what I do. I know a lot of girls love to use highlighter. A lot of girls love to use concealer, but I don't really use concealer. If there are problem areas, honestly, this Dermablend just does amazing if you just add another layer where needed. So when I am breaking out or if I have some scarring going on, I just add and add and add where it's needed. Not all over, just kind of like spot treating. And then I feel like using the bronzer on top just kind of finishes it. 
And I feel like kind of that dewy look is trending right now. So I'm not too worried about it being, um, you know, I don't want it to be super matte. Like I still want there to be somewhat of a glow. So those are just like my essentials, my basics. And maybe later on I'll do a tutorial on how I can glam it up a little bit more or use those highlights. But for now, that's what I do uh, when I wear makeup. I definitely don't wear makeup every day, uh, but it's my everyday go-to look. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you subscribe below. That would be amazing. And feel free to say hi on Instagram anytime.